Hello everyone, welcome to October pick up videos. You can see I actually got a lot of games during October. Uh, there are actually many games that I've been looking for uh, on sale during October and that's why I actually got this many. So in today's video, not only I want to show you the game I pick up during October, but also I want to show you a tip how to get additional discount when you buy games from Best Buy. This is something I actually found out during October. So I hope you enjoy this video and let's get a start. As always, we want to start with those big bucks. First, let's check those two I got from NIS America store. So the first one is Yamawari Midnight Shadows Limited Edition for PS4. So I actually unboxed this one a week ago. If you want to know more details, just check my unboxing video. To be honest, I don't really like this Limited Edition because the stuff they give with this Limited Edition is actually kind of cheap. The quality is not so good. The only reason I feel this limitation worth $50 is because the quantity is really limited. So if you are looking for this game right now, I would suggest you just go for the standard edition, which I sold in Best Buy today. They only sell for like $30 with Gamers Club on lock, you only need to pay $24, which is way a lot cheaper than limited edition. Another one here is Anima Gate of Memories. So this game, if I remember correctly, it was released earlier this year. And uh, I always thought it's a standard edition and that's the one I'm mainly looking for. But a few months ago I found out they only released in this kind of special edition and the list price is $50. Unfortunately Best Buy has already sold out. So I cannot really use the Gamers Club on lock 20% off. So in the end I just pay the full price and purchase it from a nice America store. And I will try my best to unbox this one during November. So stay tuned. And the last one is actually a Vita game, Bad Apple Wars. So this is actually a GameStop exclusive, day one edition. So I unboxed this one already. So this is basically the Japanese limited edition without a soundtrack. It just comes with an art book and the game. Uh, if you want to know more details, just check my unboxing video. Now let's check the other games I got from GameStop. So the first one is Yonder, The Cloud Cager Chronicles. The other one is Unbox Newbies Adventure. Both are actually GameStop exclusive game. Each of them is $20, which is $10 off. I've been looking to get a Yonder since the day they released. I almost got it without discount. It's definitely a game that I cannot wait to play it. And the other one is Unbox Newbies Adventure. I'm actually surprised they have physical release. For some reason, it's really hard to find a sealed copy. I check most store in like Chicago area or suburb. There's only one store has a seal copy and that's actually like 30 minutes away from where I live so I actually need to drive one hour in total to go there and come back just to get a seal copy but I'm still pretty happy to get a seal copy So those are uh, all the games I got from GameStop Let's check the game I got from Target There's only one which is a King's Chris, the complete collection As you can see this is a clearance, only $9 dollars I almost got a skin last year for $15 but I found out they do not include uh, chapter 5 and epilogue on the disc so in the end I decided not to do it because I don't really like those kind of season pass disc but for $9 I wouldn't mind now since I really want to know the story of the game and now let's check the game I actually got it from Amazon I actually got a lot of games from Amazon during October so the first one is Ages of Earth so I actually unboxed this one already and I got this one for around like $13 I think I have been looking at this game for a year, but I just don't want to pay too much because I know I will not spend too much time in this game. So for $13, it's definitely a really good price. Next is White Day. So I actually pre-ordered this the night before they release, so I can get a 20% Amazon Prime discount. Uh, this price is $40, and the game is actually published by PQ. Uh, so before, PQBus game was actually Amazon exclusive in North America, but I think many months ago, I don't remember exactly when, Best Buy started selling their games on their website. So there's one more place you can buy PQBus game right now, especially if you have Games Club on lock, you can always enjoy your 20% off. And next is Lux Quiz. So I got this one for $16. And this game might not be easy to find right now, I know Best Buy sold out already, so when I found out Amazon sold it for only $16, I just decided to pick it up. And another one here is Siberia 3. I got this one for $14, which is pretty cheap, but I think a few days later, they should drop the price to like $12, so I got this one a little bit too early. 
And this is actually a glitch cam, and that's probably why the price dropped like crazily. But I am pretty sure that you patch it again already. Next, I want to show you four Sodesco games that I got from Amazon. So let's start with those two, which was released in the beginning of October. Uh, the first one is a girl and the robot. The other one is Pharaonic. Both are the Lux edition, which comes with a soundtrack CD. I did unboxing for both. If you want to know more details, just check out my unboxing video. So I beat the girl and the robot already. It's a pretty short game, but it's not as short as most people say, like 90 minutes. Especially if you are going to get all the trophies. It cost me like uh, almost 4 hours to 100% it. And last time I checked, I'm actually on the top of the leaderboard. So in general, it's probably going to cost you like 5 hours to get 100%. So for a $20 game, I think that's a pretty alright. The overall gameplay is actually not too bad. And the other one, the Pharaonic, I still do not get a chance to play this one yet. But from what I heard, it should be similar to like the Dark Souls series. And the other two, if I remember correctly, they both release at the same time in the end of August. And one is awarded to the West, the other one is Rogue Stoners. So they all come out as a $30 scan. For Sodesco again, I think that's a little bit too high. So I just wait for land to drop to like $20. So I pick both of them up. And the last one here is the Escapist 2. So I got pick this one up today for $20. You can also get this one from GameStop for exactly the same price. I think Amazon just auto match whatever GameStop sales price is. So Amazon actually run into a little bit of issue when they try to deliver this game. But in the end they actually offer me like a $10 gift certificate. So I'm not going to bitch about it. Okay, now let's check it again. I got it from Base Buy. So the first one is Rim. Uh, the list price for this one is actually $30, but I think a lot of major retailers like GameStop, Amazon, they drop it to like $20 a long time ago. But for some reason, Best Buy just doesn't want to drop it. But finally, during October, they drop it to $20. And I remember the day they actually sent me an email. So I just decided to order it because I can get like 20% of Gamers Club Unlock discount. So I only paid like $16 for it. I'm pretty happy finally to add this game into my collection. Next is actually a PS Vita game, Drive Girl. So this game is actually pretty new, at least price $30 for a Vita game, that's actually pretty alright. And by the way, I released my PS Vita collection for 2017, a couple weeks ago. And if you do not check the video yet, I will include it in the end of this video. So now let's talk about how to get additional discount when you buy games from Best Buy. So this is something actually I found out when I purchased this game from their website. So if you go to Best Buy's website, you enter an item into your shopping cart before you check out, you go to your car. They normally ask you if you want to pick up in store or you want to they ship it to you. And always choose ship it to you. Then when you click check out, they will bring you into next screen. In here, they will offer you $1 off per item if you change it to pick up in store. Of course, your item must be qualified for this deal. Uh, from what I know, I don't think every item is qualified for the deal. But I think the most video games do, but not all of them. I know for Ring, it doesn't really qualify for the deal. I don't think it's really based on price. I see some $15 scan, which is in clearance. They still offer you like $1 off if you choose to pick up in store. So the most important thing is when you are in your shopping car, make sure you choose ship it to you. Then they will be able to offer you when you go to the next screen. If you directly choose pick up in store, they will never offer you the one dollars off. So just keep it in your mind. Even today you want to pick up again in their store. Uh, before you go, you can just check the website to see if the game should qualify for the deal or not. If they did, and why not just order it and pick up in store. So this is just a little bit tip. If you know this already, that's cool. If you don't know yet, this is something actually can help you save some money. Okay, let's keep going on. Next is actually the Xbox One game record definitive edition. So I picked this one up from their store. It's only $20. And I'm pretty happy I can find this one in their store. So I don't need to order it from Amazon or Microsoft store. And just like I said in my unboxing video, there's really no difference between Definitive Edition and the Original Edition because eventually both editions will get all the DLC. I think that's probably the reason why most major retailers still sell Original Edition 
Maybe once I like, get rid of all the original edition, they might start restocking this edition. Okay, we have a couple more to go. So the next one is Lego Wars. So this is actually the deal of the day is twenty dollars with Gamers Club Unlock. I only need to pay sixteen dollars. Also, this game actually qualified for that one dollars off pickup and store discount. So I only pay fifteen dollars for it. So this is another game that qualified for the deals. And for fifteen dollars, uh, I think it's actually a pretty good price for this game. And the last one here is Avian Colony. So for this game, GameStop recently dropped it to ten dollars, but I'm not so sure if you can actually find a seal copy in this store or not. So originally, I was thinking to order it from Amazon, but it turns out they actually have this kind of weird policy. They will not sell it separately. You actually need to order at least twenty-five dollars in order to buy this game. I think it's totally BS. So I just go to Best Buy, explain to price match, and they did. So I only spent like ten dollars for this game. I'm not so sure if I will like this one or not, but for ten dollars, why not? That's it. This is my October 2017 pickup video. There are totally twenty games here. So what I'm going to do in November is I am going to unbox all of those GameStop exclusive and Sodesco games in November, which also include those two I pick up in September. So stay tuned, there will be a lot of unboxing video in November. So thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more video in the future.